Determine an expression for the area of the largest square in the diagram below. We want to find the area of this large square here. Now to find the area of square is going to be a side times a side or length times a length or width times a width, whatever, whatever you want to call it. In this case, the width here is the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. Now we actually know these lengths on these sides here because this uh, triangle here is is attached to this perfect square and we know it's a perfect square because we have these little dashes representing that these are all equal lengths so the length of this uh, the length of this particular side here is x plus one this here is x plus one and the length of this particular side you can see there's a double dash here and a double dash here these are the same is 2x minus 5 so the hypotenuse is simply the Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So this c value here would be equals to the c is equals to the square root of a squared plus b squared. This is where I'm taking the square root of both sides. So we can solve for c. Now, the good news is we don't have to bother taking the square root at all because what we're interested in the area. If this is the side length, the area of this large square is equal to the c times c, since these are the same same uh, lengths. So essentially, it's c squared. So we don't even need to bother worrying about the uh, taking the square root. So c squared is simply a squared plus b squared. Here is my a value. And here is my b value. So let's solve for it. So the area of, the, of what we're trying to solve is equals to a squared plus b squared. So this happens to be x plus 1 squared plus my other length, which is 2x minus 5 squared. And we can solve for it by expanding out using FOIL. So we go first, which is x squared, x times positive 1 is going to be x, and we double it, positive 2x, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2x times 2x is 4x squared, 2x times negative 5 is negative 10, we double it, so this is negative 20x, and negative 5 squared is positive 25. We gather our like terms, so we have x squared and positive 4x squared, we have positive 2x, and we have negative 20x, and then finally we have the positive 1 and the positive 25. So we can simplify. x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. Positive 2x, negative 20x is negative 18x. Positive 1 positive 25 is positive 26. So what we have is choice D as our answer.